Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to take an exclusive look at the Xsense Smart Video Doorbell. Hey, are you interested in a doorbell camera that has 2K video and it's very easy to set up? Well, check out the Xsense Smart Video Doorbell. That's available on the website for right $120. There are a whole bunch of awesome features such as 2K high quality resolution, smart monitoring and notifications, along with customizable alerts and two-way communications. It looks like it even has uh, night vision. So I've noticed Xsense is known for their regular doorbell and they were selling very popular on Amazon. So I decided to review their smart video doorbell because my parents actually need this at their home. Xsense, your trusted home safety innovator. So they definitely gonna have experience, you know, with video doorbells and doorbell technology. There you see all these uh, features right there. Let's go ahead and open up the box. Pretty excited. I know my parents will be excited too, having their very first video doorbell. Make sure to protect their home, protect their investments, such as deliveries. That's the most important. And here is couple items in here that's the instructions guide I think that might be a warranty card thank you guy but we'll see ah I see the video doorbell in here oh it's looking real nice look at these these must be all the mounts and this is the video doorbell so once you empty the box make sure you have all these components such as these four mounting templates this is the uh, mounting kit along with some stickers I believe a mounting template and stickers okay. yep mounting template instructions guide I think this is the power adapter if you don't want to run it to the um, via the main power source you have USB A to uh, USB C video doorbell you got a screwdriver and kits screws and the power kit Extension wires, plugs, wire nuts, everything needed to do your job. According to the instructions guide, this is the mounting bracket. That's the vertical incline angle bracket at five degrees. This is a thick mounting bracket and this is the horizontal incline angle bracket. And notice two of these have a leveler built in. Okay, so let's go ahead and peel this off. This is the video doorbell camera. They're looking very nice. With a beautiful black, shiny black, and also like a gray metallic silver finish with the Xsense logo. So this is what the front camera looks like. This is the camera with the light sensor and the microphone with the doorbell button that you press. Okay, this is what the side look like. And by the way, the measurement of this is um, pretty small. It measures 4.5 inches in height by 1.8 inches in width and only one inch in thickness. On the back located, you have these two leads where you assemble or attach the current, uh, the, the current circuits, the current wire into these. Okay. And it looks like it's got some, uh, if you want to use the type C connector, you would just peel it back or the this is the reset button and you can add the micro SD card. Uh, let's peel it back. Let me show you guys. See the reset button and the micro SD card belong in this compartment right here. Along the reset button. If you were to use a USB type C power option instead of these direct wiring, you would simply connect it to the back but never use both powers at once. Before connecting the doorbell, what you want to do is download this app called XSmartView, whether it be on Apple or Google Play Store. Make sure your Wi-Fi is on. Let's go ahead and download that. So once you have it downloaded, let's go ahead and open it. Basically what you want to do is um, create an account at the device. Okay, so this is the part where I have it connected to the USB power supply. This is just to get it connected to the app, okay? And since it's blue, now I can add a device. I heard the voice already. 
You can scan the QR code. And the QR code is located on the back of the camera, so what you want to do is scan that. It looks like it wants the video doorbell camera to scan the QR code. Wi-Fi connecting. And I heard Wireless it. connection succeeded. Oh, see? Alright. I selected the front door being the device because that's where the camera is. Video doorbell installation. And now I'm gonna do the install. With an existing old doorbell. Before installing. Okay, here's the current doorbell. Let's make sure it's ringing properly. Okay. Okay, my dad's gonna ring the doorbell. I wanna make sure which one it is. I'm pretty sure it's the one on the left. Yeah, it sounds like the one on the left. This is a very important step. Locate the circuit breaker and turn off the main breaker. Okay, now I'm gonna remove the cover of the old doorbell. Okay, this is what it looks like. So what you want to do is uh, unscrew the screws from the two wires. One's positive, one's negative. A safety tip, you never want to touch these two wires together. You never want to cross these two wires. Okay, so we have a couple of configurations that we, we can use. But because the wall is in the way, I'm going to incline it horizontally. So it's facing out in the open area right here. You can either have it like that or install it with a thick bracket or a vertical incline. Okay, I have the bracket on. I decided to angle it up because it's relatively low, so I want to make sure I see the face. Okay, so because the wire is too short, I decided to use the extension wires. I already have the two connected to the screw end. Now I'm going to wire it up. Okay, so you want to uh, have a good fit right there. And then you can put the uh, plastic cap for safety purpose. Twist it. Okay. Yeah, we die there. We didn't die, brother. We just hold it down by John. We might have. Now we can clamp it. By John, we might have. You want to lift it up and then push it down. All right, now I'm going to insert the two Torx head screws on the bottom. These are the anti-theft screws with this screwdriver head. Okay, let's turn the breaker back on. Okay, I just want to show you guys this is a very old doorbell chime system. So it, there's no cover or it's incorporated into here. So what I have to do is like insert a screwdriver here and try to pry it open. You see how old style this is? Okay, so I was able to pry it open. Wow. Okay, so we were finally able to uh, open it. Of course, we're gonna turn off the power switch when we actually do this. I just wanna show you guys. This is a very old system, see? So as you can see right here, the top says front, the middle says rear, the bottom says transformer, so I'm going to connect this um, power box, power kit, on the to the top two. Loosen the screws and then attach it to it, all right? And then um, it looks like this fell off because it's part of the um, mechanical chime system, so I just reinsert it back, all right? Okay, so you see right here, I have it connected. The wires are not touching um, and then I have it removed the plastic tape that right here I think we're good to go okay Father's going to turn it off oh it works okay so the wiring actually you should connect with the power kit is front and rear 
I was playing around with it and I just realized in the app you have to choose your ring chime type because it defaults to none, the one I couldn't hear any sound. So when I just changed it to mechanical system, I was able to hear the normal one. Or you just switch it to the digital one if your power supply boat the transformer can support that much voltage. Now I'm going to put the cover back on. One important step you must remember is that it defaults to none, so make sure you choose the proper one. Because at first, I thought there was something wrong with the app, or it wasn't enough power. So once I switched it to mechanical and saved it, it was able to give me that chime that I wanted. Okay, it's on. With the cover on. See? Yes! That's loud enough. Okay, now we have the ring chime finally working and the doorbell camera installed. Let's pray that it works. Here's the app starting up. All right. So let's do a, let me walk you through all the buttons before I actually click on that. So you have the home button right here that takes you straight home. And here's the alarm. See all the trigger alarms and video calls. Whenever somebody rings the doorbell, it automatically defaults the video call and it starts recording. See, I have a plenty right here. And all alerts. Here is where you can set the uh, uh, filter by different alerts, such as motion detection or uh, human detection, sound detection, face detection. I think face detection, you have to uh, pay for that service and also video calls. And here, you go to the date, it gives you a little indication indicating which dates you have alarms that's set off. Okay, so here is the smart automation, which I haven't set. Here's an account where you can um, uh, add cameras, uh, go to support, uh, news, album that you can set. And settings is where you can change the, uh, the app theme or listings. So let's go to app theme. I'm going to choose it uh, dark mode. I like a dark mode better. And I like the indication of red letter. See, I like that. That's where you can uh, uh, customize it to the way you want. You can also block promotion messages. We have ads on the bottom. I, did, I recommend that. Push matters, everything like that. Okay, so let's go ahead and go back to home. And here's where you click on this. It shows you all of the devices that you have. You can add up to four cameras. See, so uh, here, you can, if you have four different uh, Xsense cameras, you can all view that at once. Oops, and where's the back button? Okay, okay, press that button and go back. And here's you can add extra camera. You can, um, it has additional features right here. All right, so one press, actually here, you, should, you can also have the face recognition, I believe. You can flip it, see, flip the mirror side. And this is auto. You can switch it to different uh, modes. It's brighter uh, at night. See, you can set it to uh, monochrome colors. And this must be the uh, scheduled. Let's go ahead and go back. Set it to the auto. All right. And here is where you can change the camera settings. Currently, I believe it's saving it directly to my cameras. Uh, Camera storage, you can have it saved to SD card up to every 128 gigabytes. You have the alarm, my plan, firmware. Let's go ahead and click an alarm. You got motion detection. You can switch it on, off, face detection. See, you can change the sensitivity to low, medium. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and click it to medium. You can adjust the timing and whatnot, face detection. You can turn it on and off. Uh, so there's an awesome setting right there. Let's go ahead and turn that. You can get adjust it any way you would like. It gets can get very fancy, or you can even uh, delete the camera. Now here is the actual camera in work at work. You can take a picture, save this to storage. See, it capture. You can share it. So. Or you could take a short video. All right. And remember it's recording in 2K. That's the setting I think I set it at. You can put one more to stop it.
you can also switch the microphone. Hello, hello. You can hear outside. See, you can kind of hear it outside right there. Switch it off. Motion detection. Go ahead and switch it on. Okay, so if you click on the picture itself, what's currently recording live, it has the audio for outside being off. So I click that and make sure to turn it on. You can hear birds and I mean cicada. <laughs> it's thundering outside too. Okay, here's where you can change the quality of video from 2K 1080p to uh, to uh, 720p. So it corresponding to each. And this is what the current uh, connection is with Wi-Fi. And here's where you can scroll it to full screen according to your uh, phone size. Also here you have the timestamp, which is all automatically set. That's the current central time. The quality looks very good, guys. Definitely um, around the 2K quality. And I'm recording in 4K, by the way. Okay, my phone is connected to my laptop. I want to access the files. So go to album. I think you have to manually download them. Select. Okay. I have all four selected and then download. I think it's downloaded to the phone. And surely enough, yep. Download it all to my phone right there. And I'm gonna transfer it to my PC. And there it is from DSIM. All right, so in the list of alarms, we have a couple of uh, detections, such as motion detection video call. Let's see how we would download from us, such as this uh, motion detection right here, detected at that time. Okay, ah, so it's a couple of second video. Let's go ahead and save it to the phone, download successfully. And I go to my iPhone. So it saves it as a still picture or as a short video, such as a GIF. Additionally, there's advanced setting where you can change the security settings, uh, change the password, different ringtones. This is a call ringtone. All right, push notification type of ring. Similarly, and you can change the uh, a whole bunch of different settings: infrared, on and off, power frequency. Um, power status, Wi-Fi detection, reset device, restart device, change the scheduling, status LED, you want it on to be at night, horizontal flip, and most importantly the camera speaker volume, you probably want it at the max. Now here's a unique feature I really like. Under motion detection, you can change the sensitivity, right? You can change the interval of your trigger events. Currently we have it at 10 seconds. And alarm recording duration, 30 seconds, 10 seconds, and whatnot. Uh, and you can schedule it according to the time of the day and the day of the week. And check this out. Here is the detection area. So here you can set your detection area. So I'm gonna create a new one. Okay. Uh, let's say I want the detection zone to be more away from the wall, see? I only want it to be this area, this detection zone, so it's more sensitive. That's why I like, save it. And with the face detection, you have to pay for that feature, I think. You can either only have it one or the other. So what I noticed, motion detection is way too sensitive even though I have it set at uh, the minimum which is motion detection being low and also with the detection area. So let's go ahead and turn off the motion detection and try the facial detection. Maybe it's less sensitive and more accurate. Okay, so let me walk outside right in front of the camera. There you see a facial detection listed. Let's go ahead and go to alarms. And there you see, 
That's the picture it, it detected. Okay, let's go to alarms. And there is the face detection alarm. And you can save, actually you can only save a picture because the video you have to use a SD card or a uh, cloud purchase. of the doorbell system with me recording it in straight to the album saving the video so hopefully it's loud and clear hello hello how are you okay so i'm having a conversation with my dad about him i don't know why see let me close the door can you hear me can you hear me? Yeah. Oh, front door. Who is it? Who is it? Hello. I have a Oh, wow. See? Yes. Let me come out. It looks like when I try to copy over a save video file that has audio from the outside, it becomes unusable because of the codec uh, uh, incompatibility issue. All right, the final verdict is in. Now that I've used the Xsense video doorbell for over two days now, I am uh, quite impressed with it. First of all, the 2K quality video is on point. Very clear and sharp. The audio is pretty decent. Now the night vision is where it truly stands out. I saw everything clearly, especially even in dark nights without hardly any lighting. So uh, have no worries. Uh, at night you can be able to see what's outside, maybe even detect wild animals. Now I noticed that the sensitivity is quite uh, sensitive, quite strong, even at the low setting. So I decided to switch it over to from um, motion detection to face recognition that might help uh, it to be more accurate in detecting uh, human motion versus you know just any motion whether it be wind, rain or even animal. Now uh, I noticed some um, some faults of it such as that um, you have to pay for the subscription all right and so the subscription um, can cost a little bit of money so keep that in mind and I also noticed that uh, when it comes to like transferring files away, especially with recording audio and video outside, especially if you turn the, you know, the, the audio notification, if you want to listen outside, when you're trying to transfer over to your computer for video editing, it has issues since it won't detect the file. But if you just keep it on the phone, you are able to view it. So keep that in mind. And of course, with the subscription, like I said, you can, um, but without having to purchase a subscription, you can watch the video fine on your phone and if you decide not to get the subscription you can have a short GIF file which is adequate for us I think my parents would like it so if you're in the market for a, a 2k video camera to help protect your property especially prevent a delivery or box thefts go check out the Xsense smart video doorbell and I think you guys will be quite impressed